number two. Yeah, right, right, right that area. <laughs> I heard something pop. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was the D ring. Sometimes they get backwards. Yeah. Okay, so I bring the boom in. It's so I can see see if that's what it was. Apparently the retainer on that center pin popped off. And I bring it in, I well, I didn't know. So I bring it in and the bent the cylinders, I bent the arm. Hey, Jack, I'm gonna set up holes for you. The mag's pretty close into it. And I had death and blind crank. And everybody said I should have drove it down here. Okay, well I felt it was safe to bring down here. They to leave it up there and try to pull it. Thank you, sir. It's cheaper to get the trading program to get the cutting attachment. Okay. So you probably won't use it. Alright, thank All right. you. Appreciate it, bud. Have a good weekend. Thank you, too, man. So anyway, I'll break it down here with a bet. The bet when I break the movement. Y'all thought it was safe to bring me. Why didn't leave it up there so they can change it up there? Well, hell, I couldn't find no one at the time. And I thought, Look safe enough to be, I've done bent the damn thing I saw when I bring it in when I got out to paint it look I saw it was twisting sideways. And uh, and, and he said, Are you supposed to inspect your crane every day? Well I usually do. I look at the bag wire. But you know, who the hell's gonna be looking up there at that bolt? What about when you used to put grease on the fifteen ton rail? Oh yeah, everybody loves that. <laughs> used to go back up after lunch and wave these dumb bin up there and put grease all over the bridge, bridge rail. We go over here to the bridge left and you go to plug the stop and slide. It's the best time to do that when you're Yeah, it's a little bit of a What other shenanigans did you do? Oh, I've done a lot of stuff. Were you here when the guy died? Yeah. Well, the good number of them was two good ones. Way of cars. I had death in Mute Frank. That's a ship that came from. I was coming over the railroad tracks on track two, and the cable on the railroad car goes, Wing! Bobby. All right. I get over there, and the knuckles facing the wall like this. It was only like four foot in. And I, uh, and the way the knuckle was setting, I couldn't really do anything with it. I had Frank Chris pick me or couldn't see. I said something to Mike Bill, uh, Bill, about the bill it's falling off the car. He says, well, it's not my job to watch the cars. So I had to unload the car on the ground. I couldn't get to move backwards. I couldn't get to move forward because the way that knuckle was sitting like this. I said, Frank, we're going to get this fucking car out of here one way or another. I put a cable around that knuckle. I got it out. Got the wheels out. Car out. Got the pin the car set in on the wheels. giant hopper said the tracks are cleared so I started moving the cars and there was a big roll on the track that hopper went up over top of it it was sitting way up in the air sideways had the wheels in the middle of the car okay. 
Wasn't there a guy who were telling me that would sit up in the press box naked and like rub one out? Oh yeah, he was jerky so oh Cantwell. Cantwell. He was a stinky. You weren't here when Mark Bainham was here. Oh that bummer but he was in love with that boy. He would chase him around. And he, and he got over by the time clock one day, he had his knife down, he was going to cut his pants off. Mark would come out and there'd be a bunch of hunter, he'd stand on top of the chute, and he'd just have a walkway there. He'd drop his drawers in the room, John, John would be coming flying out of that box. He, and he used to tell me stories how he used to get blowjobs from little boys and get marbles, and we'll roll them down to hell when he was done. Or what was that story you told me? You go in his house and they had a hole on a board. And they had to stick your dick to it and you stick a goose on there and chop his head off. This is what <laughs> I'm serious. Mel, uh, one day, you weren't here with that one, but Mel walked out to the sailor driver one day with his drawers down and shaking his dick at him. <laughs> he, he was walking out and shaking his dick. I look out at the barter cutter and he would be in the barter cutter with his pants down. What year is this? <laughs> in the 90s, you know. Did you, did you talk to the HR about, about it? Huh? Did you talk to the HR department about it? <laughs> I was just up there laughing. <laughs> yeah, well, I was just sitting up there in the 15 times in my underwear all the time. I believe this one. I believe it, Homer. Yeah, it get hot in the motherfucker. And they used to piss on the shoot. And Dick Brothers come out and say, hey, who's keep pissing on his shoe? This takes higher. I'll be up to a lot of my ass on him. About <laughs> took the door off the um, brand new crane. Oh, yeah. What was that, the C crane? What is it? 932. Huh? Yeah. It's heavy parked here. That's what I used to pull the cars up at 15 ton. And they had the door wasn't closed all the way. So I'm pulling the railroad car down. The crane wasn't even in motion yet. Yeah. I pulled the door off. Me, Dave, and Sweeney were, were gone at it. They called me down here, we were going at it. And he finally said, get back up there. How many times did you get fired? I think twice. Both times were going with the foreman said. No, first time I got fired was punching the time clock cards. Which was an everyday thing for everybody. If you're sitting all at the table, you take a turn and take a photo of the and I'm watching them out. I never thought about that. And I noticed something in the basket that wasn't supposed to be, and Dennis Boone told me to put it in there. Before we did. Then we read a letter to verify it. No old days. Well, I showed him how good I was. Which Kelsey was a laborer and the real girl said about that. I could balance that bag really good. Probably sleep in. I took a big old roll of making the real girl if I didn't mash it. And it's steady enough where I could just keep making it like we wouldn't mash the real girl. They went out to a day like this. Giant roll sitting in the real girl. <laughs> Tell them about the uh, basket falling out of the sky. You're almost shitting yourself. Oh, yeah, that one. Took a basket over a hot rinse too. I sit the berry up there. I said, something's not right. The cowboy was just going to chase me. The gears didn't sound right. And he says, it don't sound right. We bring it back over and dry rinse. I go down, it was all in air. So we go down there and I bring it up to the dry rinse. Of course, there's nowhere to go. But I think I did that damn button. That thing come out of the dry rinse like three times. She said, the cables are rolling around me like snakes. I couldn't go that way or that way. I couldn't talk for a couple of hours. I stayed the fuck on the road. Boom, 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 boom. 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 Jeez. Uh, the bottom of that About safety net. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing some good stuff. <laughs> you know, oh, great. Right right you know, I gotta wait till you put a safety net up there. <laughs> That's why I was doing some good stuff then. What kind yeah. of stuff? I don't even remember. It was something the VA gave me. Some purple pill. Xanax. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Let's, Let's go. go. 
Wavy's over at Papa Zanny's fucking <laughs> yep. train chasing, huh? Papa Zanny's.